it's Mousy, and welcome back to another episode of Dogs and Dragons. Woo! I just want to make a quick note to you guys. If you guys have been wondering why there haven't been some videos over the weekend, um, it was because I have been quite sick with some allergies. This time of the year is absolutely terrible when it comes to allergies. I'm still a little bit sick, but I'm feeling a lot better than I was over the weekend, and I'll be doing my best to catch up on videos over the next few days. So there's still gonna be Disney fairies, there's still gonna be Animal Jam, there's still gonna be all that. I'm just gonna have to catch up on them. <laughs> But anyways, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm happy you're here with me today. We've got some loads of magical things going on here in Dogs and Dragons. Oh my goodness. You guys have been so incredibly helpful in the comments. I'm going to step back from this water sounds. That's a lot better. But anyways, you guys have been so incredibly helpful with coming up with more names for golems and dogs and uh, giving me tips on moss. And I just want to say specifically on that note, thank you guys so much for telling me about like these little things and little helpful hints because I love learning about the mods from you guys before I go to some boring wiki that doesn't have like the exciting bits. Because you guys know the exciting bits like, oh, go make this if that part of part of that mod it's going to lead to something spectacular or you guys have these great stories where you were playing with the mods i love reading about that in the comments so to all of you guys who have been so helpful with uh mo you know helping me out with some of these mods that i don't know much about and uh giving me suggestions for new mods as well like deco craft and the food mods and all of that which i will be adding soon um very soon um i just want to say thank you so thank you guys for being so helpful i'm going to go into some of the stuff you guys have helped me out with today but first I want to show you the, uh, the what's going on in here. We've got some furniture now. It looks less empty and sad, <laughs> which is something. We have a little bookshelf, so once we start making books, we can get into that. We have like a little sitting area, and uh, I like the shelves. It kind of like goes with the walnut. What are you doing? Are you like? sitting down for like breakfast or I guess it would be lunchtime in Minecraft world. Are we are we gonna have lunch together? Shall we make some like sandwiches or something? <laughs> look at us. We look so silly. Oh my goodness. Having lunch with the golems. Yeah, we're gonna commemorate this forever. There we go. We've got pictures. <laughs> oh, you are so adorable, Walnut. Are you stuck on the chair? Is that what's going on here? Do you need help? Or do you, you just want to sit there? I guess, you, are you stuck? Is there like some kind of golem magnet built into these chairs? I'm really sorry, Walnut, if there, if there is. But I mean, you look like you're doing okay for now. If you're still there by the end of the episode, I think we're going to say there's a problem with these chairs and we'll try and fix it, Walnut. All right. You just, uh, you, you yell if you, you need something. <laughs> if you need a sandwich or anything, I'll, I'll see what I can do. But anyways, yes, we were working on the furniture, and I discovered something while I was looking through some decorative stuff in this, because, I, like, there's no way you can do this. This was actually something before, wait, before I go any further. One of you guys in the comments of the last episode told me about the Botanica book um, that will tell us more about the flowers and all that jazz, and I'll get into that in just a second, but I want to go ahead and say thank you while it's, you know, here on my screen. But anyways, I was going through all of this stuff, and obviously when you're just, like, scrolling through this, you pretty much miss everything. Pretty much miss everything. But, uh, I came across something while I was looking through it. There are these paper walls! Did you know? Did you? Did you? I bet you didn't. I bet you didn't. Oh, snap. That's right. That's right, indeed. So there's, like, these paper wall things, and I think you could do, like, different looks of them. I'm not sure. Um, we can, s I think it might be a chisel thing that we can do with it. Maybe, maybe. I'm not sure what mod it's from. Oh, whoops. Hold on. But, um, yeah. So it's basically made out of paper and sticks, which I think it works just like we we're, what we're doing with these, um, the ornate glass. But I'm kind of happy because <laughs> the glass is a lot harder to make and we kind of need it to finish off our butterfly sanctuary. 
And uh, so I'm thinking if we get into these paper walls and see what they're about, we could probably like use them to like separate my this room, maybe do a separation of stairs and that kind of thing. What else do we have going on today? We also have some fairy lights that we're gonna be making. Um, I looked up the recipes for that because there's no like recipe guide support with that mod, so I've had to look it up myself. Um, but what I'll do is um, maybe I'll try and make a book or something in, in here that will help, like, I don't know. It, I'll put a link in the description if you happen to have the fairy lights mod and you've been kind of like fumbling about trying to figure out how to, um, you know, let's actually extend this. That would be smart. That would help with our whole paper situation because it looks like we're going to need a lot. I'll try and put the link to the mod down in the description if I can remember it. Let me, I'll write it down real quick. Um, cause they do have like a picture of all the like recipes in the fairy lights mod. There's loads of different, like different kinds of fairy lights you can make. If you're not sure what the mod even is, well, we're about to make some magical things with it. Ooh, spooky. Ah, not really spooky because it's past October. <laughs> I don't know guys. I'm a little bit crazy today. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna be making some fairy lights and we're gonna be doing that kind of stuff. What else are we gonna be doing? Someone told me to put water in the pedestal that we made last episode. I did that, not sure where to go from that. I think we need to make that Botanica thing. And then I've also made a, um, a tree farm that I'll show you guys in a minute. Like I said, we got so much going on, guys. So much is happening today. Oh my gosh, we've discovered so many different things. It's wonderful though, I like it. It just means that we are discovering magical things. Magic, magic, magic. Ah, I need to figure out what's wrong with my inventory. This is driving me insane. I know it's driving a lot of you guys insane, but trust me, it's driving me insane too. Oh, that's the carpenter's chisel. Wrong chisel. Whoopsie daisies. Uh, where is the correct chisel? There it is. All right. Yes, there is. Look at this. Floral door-shaped wall. What is this? Plain paper? Oh, this is cool. This is basically the look that we're going for. Oh, so it is part of the chisel mod. Huzzah, guys! We figured it out. Okay, this is perfect. It's nighttime, so let's start with our room then. Oh, wow. I just got, like, dizzy on the stairs. Oh, that looks so cool. I like that. Oh, that's nice. Okay. So, I wonder if maybe we should change, like, the look of the bed to this stuff, if that's possible. I mean, surely, because it's carpenter's blocks, we can... We can try some things. I think that looks really cool. So I'll definitely make some more of those and kind of like decorate more. <laughs> I'd love to see what more we could do with that. So let me, I should probably put some of these materials away. I can't wait for this butterfly exhibit to be done so that I can stop making this glass because it's just, it is the most painful experience in the world. I've also got some clay from when I was gathering sand, so we can see if what we can see if, uh, blah, 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 what we can do with that. Uh, I'll try to also speak uh, proper English at some point today. Oh goodness! Oh goodness! Okay, so we have some iron. All right, so we've learned about. Hey, almond. <laughs> hey, we've also. Okay, so we just learned about the. Um, do, 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 paper walls. What we got next is the fairy lights. Right, okay, so with the fairy lights, we have to actually craft them in a somewhat specific manner. All right, so just as I was getting into the fairy lights mod and trying to make the fairy lights, I discovered that the fairy lights mod recipes are not working. I'm not sure why they aren't working, but I'm going to try and figure it out after the episode and uh, see what is going on and why it's not working and all that magical stuff. So it's a little bit disappointing that it isn't working, but hopefully, hopefully next episode we can get it to work because it is a pretty cool magical mod and it would be cool to have the world here decorated with that stuff. So while we are down here, we are going to go ahead and grab some buckets of water. Um, the reason for this is because we got some stuff going on. Yeah, that's right. 
While I'm at it, I'm gonna grab some wheat so that we can um do 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 breed the cows because we actually need some leather to make that botanica book. Cause I want to figure out what's going on with that. Um, we'll need a tree sapling. Do we have any like regular saplings by chance? No, no, we do not. Remarkable. We got some pretty nice tree saplings. None of them are actually the ones we need. All right, that's okay. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a book. Simple as that. And with that, one of you guys actually told me to put water in this. Not sure what that does, but we shall figure it out. Cows, come to me. But I wanted to show you guys what was going on over here. <gasps> they grew, yes, and the grass finished covering up. Yes, this is perfect. Okay, so this is gonna be kind of our tree farm. It's a, it's a little small, but I figured if we're like actively keeping up with it, we'll make sure we don't run out of like special saplings and stuff because that's like the biggest fear, isn't it? Um, I'm gonna be expanding our little compound out and around the butterfly exhibit, kind of like that way, so that when we find new dragons, because obviously we're gonna, this is the, this is the dogs and dragons adventure. We're going to find more dragons, obviously. Um, but when we do, I figured it would be obvious that we would make a uh, make compounds for each of them, you know, that are themed around them and that kind of thing. And I wanted them to kind of connect to the Caspers, that way they could all kind of like converse among themselves. Cause I thought that'd be really cool. So that's that. Puppy dogs, I just realized something. It's really dark in here for you. Is there any way we can make it lighter in here for you? <laughs> Cute, adorable puppy dogs. I love you guys so much. Do you guys have enough food? Okay, good. Whew. I always panic that you guys don't have enough since they're so important. Oh gosh! Oh my goodness, that scared me! You know what I just realized? We haven't made any bows and arrows. <laughs> How dare you interrupt my flower collecting? Rude. Do they not understand how important collecting flowers is? Clearly, they don't. Collecting flowers is like an essential part of everyday life. It's important. It matters. Flowers help the world go round, ladies and gentlemen. Flowers are just flowery and magical. They help bring color to this world. Yeah. Okay, well, while we're here, we'll go ahead and do this. Lexica Botanica! Oh, yeah. The 21st edition. Oh, wow, this is pretty. Functional flora. Flower shrinking. Oh. Basics and mechanics. Oh, gosh. Oh, here we go. Petal Apothecary. In order for a botanist to create a plant life that can do its bidding, mm. one would need special means of infusing plants with mystical mm. en energy. Mm. Luckily, the things. Okay. Petal Apothecary. Here we go. This block, when placed in a world and given some water by use of a water bucket, will accept any magical petals thrown at it. Thrown at it. Okay. Mm. Once one has set the correct petals in, throwing some seeds will finalize the process. Tossing the full bucket will also fill the recipient with water. Oh, oh my. This is a lot of things we need. How do we make a rune of spring? What is that? How do you do that? Mystical items generating flora. So, to make this flower, we need two yellow, an orange, and a blue. I think that's a good place to start. All right. Wow. Okay, so there is a lot to this Botanica mod that I just did not know about. Okay. Um... Okay, so I've been looking into the book. It was quite- it's probably gonna be quite boring for me to, like, read the book out loud to you guys. Um, and go through everything I just did, but there's like things like a daisy we have to make and like something that generates mana We're gonna go ahead and try and make just that to begin with just to kind of like check this out because it looks pretty cool And I want to see what more we can do 
Uh oh, this sounds like there's going on there's a fight going on down here. Hey! Not nice. Are you okay, Almond? Are you okay? Yeah, okay, good. Ugh. What did what did that skeleton think he was doing? How dare he? Come into my house? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Wanna I, I think you are stuck on that chair. We'll we'll figure that out in a moment. Okay, so as we were looking at. Two yellow, one orange. Okay, so here we go. So we throw it. <gasps> oh, wow. It disappeared. Okay. One orange. One blue. And some seeds. Oh my goodness! Oh my gosh, it scared me! Oh my gosh! What just happened? How did, how did we just? Okay, hold on. We need to get all these other flowers out of here because this is gonna be like special flower area. Ladies and gentlemen, back up. This is like the special flower area. Oh yeah. Okay, so let's see here. Where are my shears? We need these. What did we just make? Hold on, we need to get these petals up as well. All right, so we just made some kind of flower. It's, oh my gosh, we can create flowers. How do we get mana though? It's like there's some kind of thing called a mana pool. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that was actually pretty neat. All right. Oh, we need to cook this cobblestone. Ah. All right, it's cool, it's fine, it's okay. Okay, get ready. Whoa! Oh my goodness! That was insane! Oh my gosh, we should probably make some kind of chest up here. Now that I'm thinking about it too. Okay, we're we're totally on this. This is this is probably one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Alright, so that's gonna take a while. Fair enough. Look at this, it just looks so magical. I can't get over it. What else, what other flowers can we make while we're waiting? Let's find out, shall we? We can find out together. Mana manipulation, what is this? There is a lot more to this mod than I ever thought there was. Generating flora. Whoa, 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 what's going on? Oh my gosh. <gasps> Whoa! Oh my goodness! Oh my gosh! That was incredible! That was cool! Oh my gosh! So, oh, so this is how we make the, uh, the stuff, the stuff, the stuff, guys, the stuff! Okay, so... Mystical items, floral obedience, Attaching some mana still, some blah, 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 blah. We need to make that pool thing. I've actually never known what this mod really does. But I'm actually quite glad we're exploring it. There we go. We have a mana pool now. A diluted mana pool. Excuse me. So what does it do exactly? I'm a little bit confused. Let's go grab some other yellow flowers real quick. And make another one of these like day blooms. Wow, there is a lot to this than I initially expected. It might actually be useful to like maybe expand this area a bit. I don't know. I don't know what that does. There, wow, there is just, there's a lot. There is a lot. But I think we've uh, just about 
run out of time for today's episode, guys. I will look into why fairy lights was not working and see if I can figure out what's going on with that. And in the meantime, if you guys know anything about Botanica or any knowledge of Botanica, uh, be sure to let me do down below because um, I love to hear uh, how to do these things and check these things out. Of course, we do have the in-game guide and we will follow that and figure that out as much as possible. But uh, I think it's going to be super magical to figure out how all this stuff works and like all the this magical... I've never... I've always had Botanica in some like, you know, mods packs before, but I've never actually explored it like this. And I think this is really cool. So thank you guys so much for joining me on today's episode of Dogs and Dragons. Uh, hopefully, you know what? We should probably go on an adventure with Casper and see if we can find any more of these flowers because he can fly. We can get like an aerial view and find all these things and just collect all the all the mess magical flowers in the world I think that will be magical because we'll finally finally go explore the world because it's <laughs> we've been doing this a while and we've only just been uh, you know kind of expanding our little complex here but I think it'll be cool anyways once again thank you guys for joining me I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you guys next time bye mm -hmm.